Welcome to Open Your Reality. This video is going to be a bit different than my others. It's an excerpt from one of Tom Campbell's talks explaining how life, death, and free will work in a simulated universe. Tom Campbell has been both a physicist and consciousness researcher for over 30 years. I believe he's the leading authority on simulation theory and has written three books on it. In this talk, Tom discusses how we as consciousness interact within the simulation. In his theory, consciousness is the only thing that's real. Our world and all other reality frames like the afterlife are virtual. Tom believes that our consciousness does not all reside in one place. A piece of it is in our body, or what he calls an avatar, here on Earth. This part of our consciousness he calls our free will awareness unit. This is just a piece of us. The greater part of our consciousness resides in another virtual reality frame. Different religions or New Agers would call this our higher self. Tom refers to this higher self as an individuated unit of consciousness. As long as you know these terms, you'll be able to follow along. You may not believe any of this, but all of Tom's theories come from his 40 years of experience leaving his body and interacting with what he calls the greater consciousness system. Everything we experience is generated by a computer and recorded by that computer. Some refer to this as the Akashic Records. A large part of Tom's theory runs in parallel to the teachings of the great mystics through the eons. While they explain reality in a poetic way with a lot of metaphors, Tom is more direct and scientific in his explanations. This is why I love listening to him. He's made a tremendous impact on my life and in the way I think. I used to be very confused about the nature of reality and this even after reading hundreds of books on it. Tom has clarified so much for me. So without further ado, I shall play the talk and please remember to subscribe. Thank you. Well, yes, a piece of our consciousness, uh, what I call the individuated unit of consciousness, a piece of that gets petitioned off and I call that the free will awareness unit. And I just make these names up, you know, don't take these names too seriously, they're all metaphors. They're metaphors for functionality of consciousness, the functions and consciousness that have to exist in order for the system to be stable system that works and does the things that we know it does. So uh, this individual unit of consciousness with this, like my consciousness and your consciousness and everybody else's consciousness is, a, is an individuated unit of consciousness, IUOC. What happens is we partition off a piece of ourselves that contains just the quality of us not the memory of us, not the intellect of us, but just the quality of us. But then that free will awareness unit becomes the consciousness for a particular avatar. Okay. So because it has no memory, its first awareness of its first data that it gets. Remember, this is an avatar. This is a virtual reality game. So this free will awareness unit, the first data it gets in its data stream is data created by the senses of its avatar. Okay, The avatar is a computer generated thing that abides by the rule set that is responsible for evolving our physical reality system including the earth and the people and all the planets and stars and everything that's in our physical reality. It's a virtual reality game. And the rule set that, that uh, evolved that is, you know, is, is what, or what evolved in that system is because of the rule set. It could only do what the rule set allowed. All right, so this free will awareness unit now starts getting data, let's say of shades of light and dark and maybe sounds because it's in utero and that's the sense data that it gets. It gets the sense of being in a fluid, it gets a sense maybe of hot or cold, it gets a sense of, of touch that it can push and kick and you know it's in a place that's confining. So that's its sense data and that is the very first data that this free will awareness unit gets. That's its first piece of memory. It just has otherwise quality data, data describing its quality, 
of consciousness. Basically, that's its entropy level. Data that describes its entropy level is all that it has. All right, so because that's its, its only data, is what comes through the sense data of, the, of its avatar. Let's say avatar now is birthed and, and uh, you know, grows up and whatever. It just has that data that that avatar has experienced. That's, that's all it has. So it thinks it is that avatar. It has nothing else, no other memory, no other input except that sense data. So it identifies with the avatar. It thinks it is the avatar. You see, and that's the way most of us are. We think that we are the avatar. Okay, we find out later that we're really, you know, a piece of an IUOC, and uh, consciousness is a is a non-physical thing relative to this virtual reality, as everything outside of a virtual reality appears non-physical to those that are inside the virtual reality. Okay, so then this avatar and this free will awareness unit go through their life according to the rule set. The, the free will awareness unit, the consciousness, makes choices for the avatar. Remember, the avatar is just a calculation. All of this is being done just in a computer. It's a calculation. And data is being sent back to the free will awareness unit, the consciousness. Okay, so the consciousness is the avatar's consciousness. The free will awareness unit is the avatar's consciousness. So, that happens until the avatar, because of the rule set, dies. Whether he gets run over by a truck and crushes all these internal organs or whether he just dies of old age or whatever, that's the way the rule set works in this place and the characters die. And when they do, the partition gets taken down. All right, the avatar dies, the partition starts to dissolve and that free will awareness unit returns again to its individuated unit of consciousness, gets absorbed, say, by that individual unit of consciousness. And that individual unit of consciousness then, with that free will awareness unit absorbed, uh, makes plans to have another avatar. So it will then take the experience that it just got from that past avatar, integrate it with all the experience it's had from all the other avatars that's played, decide what it is it needs to do next, then it picks another avatar and starts the game all over again. So this individuated unit of consciousness is like a, an, an accumulator, if you will, of life experiences. And through this accumulation, it can make better choices. It's got a lot of lessons learned, a lot of growth that it's done. It's lowered its entropy, hopefully, and is evolving. Its quality is going up. So that's the evolutionary process for consciousness.